Did I ever read this? It's engraved with ancient Zonai text. You can't make out what it says. Yet. That's a yet. As I walk to what is to be my launch site. <sighs> the fear of failure weighs heavily on my mind. I've hyped this up, up enough. To, to walk away from Gerudo with something as monumental as this left unfinished in my rearview mirror. I'm worried. I, I'm worried. I don't want to fail. And I don't think I'll, I will. I'm on the wrong block. <laughs> Let's do this then. I've I've thought about this <laughs> since the last recording session. I've worried about it. I've theory crafted it. And I think I have a solution. Originally, I boiled this down to two angles of attack. Gliding underneath the the maze and ascending through it and gliding or, and ascending with uh, with rockets and a hot air balloon platform and landing on the side of it. But I actually have a solution that bridges both. First and foremost, this might be easier than I, I am thinking. I've gone back to the depths. I've created a couple of machines that I believe will get me there. The first is about as simple as they come. Just a simple hot air balloon. I think that'll get me a lot of the way there. It might even get me all the way there. First... This'll get me off the ground. Well, I suppose I am already off the ground. This is a, a bit of a lame method, but uh, trust me, trust me, it isn't all I have in the tank. I'm gonna prepare Ascend. And it looks like I might even have to jump to another platform because I'm about to hit one. That's fine. This only costs a couple Zonite. I, ca I can make it from... I can use it a few times. It'd be even better if I could Ascend through it. Maybe I can guide this. Uh, no. Okay. Don't fall, don't fall, Link. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Whew, okay. Maybe. I wonder, can I climb this? No. Okay. Freak out. Where's the nearest platform? That's the nearest. Is there another one that's higher? Where's the maze? Too high to see. You know what? I think I'm gonna use the other, my other trick up my sleeve. <laughs> That's right. I've done some building. We're gonna build it. Just, just wait. It's gonna fall, and then I'm going to recall it. Hit. Deactivate. Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Get a slight turn. <sighs> Change my clothes. Unfortunately, I didn't have a piloting platform. I need to slowly bring this around. This is going to be only one of my solutions here, because I'm going to have to chain these together. I had to take a... I had to direct my travel away. There we go. Circle it around. We're getting close. If I can just get to another platform, then we'll be fine. Also, I'm still cold? That's... Oh, I, I didn't... I donned the wrong, boot, wrong boots. It's kind of weird the snow boots don't protect me from cold. I thought that was weird in Breath of the Wild, too. Okay, we're getting a good angle here. I'm gonna... I don't want to get a direct approach. I kind of want to strafe it, because obviously I don't want to hit those again. I don't think that my plane is going to last me the entire way there. 
but in the off chance it does, I'll start banking it closer. Oh, I, I think I can make it. I can make it. In fact, I'm confident enough in this. I'm going to use another... Oh, no, no. I'm going to go to that platform. Go! Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, and, and the per the bat things are up here. The arrow. The doob -a -dah. What was that? Are they shooting projectiles at me? They better not be. I've come too far for them to turn me away. Yep. Come on. Come on. Get a bit closer. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Go down in one hit, which is still very weird to me. Wait, what? Uh, what? Oh, that's that's a feature. I never expected that to be a thing. I got I got the collectibles without getting the collectibles. Okay. Not complaining. Okay, uh, fire keys, eyeball, uh, sure. Sure. Go! What? There. Now. Let's use the plane again. This plane is so good, by the way. I mean, look at this thing. Put it up in the air because I'm going to climb on top of this. And use recall. Oh, that's not good. I mistimed that. That's not good. I didn't get the height I wanted. It should be okay, but I did not mean to. It was just a yet, no yet another situation of YSB. So you can see one of my fans here is angled uh, down. It's to tilt the tail of the plane upward. Whoa, I forgot! That's not good. Go! No, 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 no! Get on the plane! <laughs> okay. I wasn't watching my, my meter. <laughs> Come on. I don't want to put this in my rearview mirror. Come on, Link, walk bank. I didn't have a control platform, unfortunately. Come on, plane. I can at least get to those platforms. Whoa! There's an updraft! What just happened? Wind! What? What just happened? A, a crazy updraft just hit, hit the plane. Also, it's still there. I don't know what just happened. Okay. There's about to be a blood moon, so I'm gonna stick here. I'm just gonna stay here and wait for the cutscene. I'm not going to risk beginning my last flight. Yep. Hit it. Hit it, Zelda. Come on. Okay. I am a little bit worried that another updraft is going to... is going to upend my flight. Uh, I should probably take out- take care of those first. It's hard to gauge distance. I shot through the rock there. I don't know if you saw that. I'm not complaining. But I did shoot through the rock. Uh, let's use the eyeballs that we're getting from these enemies, on these enemies. Rather than waste elemental... Elemental eyeballs. Okay, where is that shrine? It's there, I think? Yeah, it is there. I can see it on the map. So what I gotta do... Is... Use this again. <laughs> I, I didn't expect to have to use three, f go on three flights here. Uh, we're gonna place it down a little bit. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's be smart. Let's be smart. Back up. Raise it up. 
Get stasis, or get, I keep calling it stasis. Get recall ready. Ascend through it! Hit it. Switch to recall. End recall. And the rockets really aren't there to give me height. Why am I doing a loop de loop? Why am I doing a loop de loop? Okay, um, I don't think I can work with this unless there's a place for me to get some stamina back. Um, I'm almost tempted to let go and guide myself to another platform because I don't have stamina restoring food. I'm gonna try and get stamina back on this ledge and if I can't, I'm gliding back down and trying again. I might have to get, I might have to ascend through the maze. Okay, I'm gonna let go. It's fine if I fall. Let go. Wait. Oh. I can get- I can get stamina back. Okay. <sighs> okay. I just need to start my trek sideways for a long time. <laughs> I can always get my stamina back. I can always fly to another- uh, to a platform down there and start over, but... I've established a foothold on the side of the maze. And I think I can work with that. I'm gonna get all the way around and get to the shrine. It's almost like the updraft that we experienced, the turbulence. I don't know what just happened. Why did I float? That was very odd. Do you see that? I just kind of like moon jumped. The turbulence almost felt like it was protecting this maze. It was meant to foil exactly what I was doing. Either that, or there's some wiggy physics in here, which I do know that there's, at some point in this game, a place with, like, moon jumps. There, that is in one of the trailers. So maybe this is it. There are these strange particles and literal rocks floating around. So maybe this place operates under different physics than the rest of the world. I'm also really proud that I did a loop-de-loop -loop and managed to stay on for at least a couple seconds. That was, that was cool. Gently, gently, gently! Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely some weird physics here. I'm gonna try letting go again and walking diagonally. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we can get a little bit of distance there. And now I need to start going up. I'm not gonna start going up. I have... I have a place to restore stamina here, and I'm not going to waste it. Because I can get to that... that shrine. Also, is that shrine the end of the maze? That'd be really funny if it was. Oh, boy. I don't like these right angles. I don't like the right angles. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna let go. I'm not gonna let go. Back into the relief. Walk diagonally into the wall. We're fine. We're fine. Link is fine. All of us are fine. My hands aren't sweaty. They aren't. Uh, <laughs> I'm even keel. I'm totally fine. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> We're okay. Yeah. Also, I look like a giraffe with this helmet on. I'm jumping. <laughs> I did it. I'm here. I made it. One sec. Oh my word. <laughs> Look, look where we came from. We came from all the way down there. Is that, if that's not a test of our abilities, of the skills we've gotten so far, it's auto build that got us to Gerudo, not just up here. And now we're back in the sky. To you who set foot in my labyrinth of the sky, I offer a test of wisdom. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate them all. Now, can I go in the shrine now? Because I, I need a warp point before I will feel completely safe. Before I go into, essentially, the tears of the, or the, uh, the, the Twilight Princess Sky 
temple, city of the sky. Let's go inside the shrine. <laughs> so I have a, a restore point. A, a, uh, what is it? Back to the starting block? What, what, blank slate? What, whatever it's called. Back, back here, whatever the idiom is. <laughs> also, you, you all should be very proud of me because I practiced. I practiced at the beginning of this episode creating uh, hot air balloons, making planes off of said hot air balloons, and chaining those together. I probably could have done the same for, uh, for the planes as well. I just didn't want to risk that. Mighty Construct Bow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll drop the three-shot bow. <laughs> sure, we'll drop that one. I don't really care about Construct Bows. Do they even do anything special? No, not really. Royal bows are just better. Whoa! Huh? What? <laughs> That's new? Can I- I can climb this, right? I kind of just assumed. No, I can't! I can't climb it! I can't climb it! <laughs> uh... What? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I was very worried that, uh... I was very worried that it was just going to set me back, or send me back to the surface. Um... Can we not do this yet? Here, wait. One moment. Those are unlit. Which means... We can light them. And we'll light this one. Shoot a little bit high. Okay, apparently I don't need to. Does it tilt? What is happening? What does that do? What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Woohoo! That was a wacky puzzle. Please don't rise again. Okay, we did it. Didn't expect that. Back outside. Wee! <laughs> How fun would that be in real life? Ah. Oh. So we have some places to catch ourselves. I can also warp back to this. We have an updraft. Oh, what an updraft this is. Okay, so really there's no risk of us falling. That we're fine in that regard. All it is, all we need to do is search. And it looks like we can't take fall damage while we do. Is this Okay, there I thought I saw something underneath it. Yeah, this isn't that bad. We're looking for four nodes. I can use this to travel without using stamina. Here's one. I think. Man, does this not remind you of the city in the sky? Uh, it kind of reminds me of the forest temple in Ocarina of Time 2, but I think that's a lot looser. Can I fly up here? And if I do, is there anything up here? No, it doesn't appear to be. I can... I could use Ascend here, and maybe I should. Because Ascending in mazes is just strong. Well, and it's also rewarding. I almost wonder if there's going to be some room that we can only get to by ascending. A big battery. I almost included a big battery in my design, but upon testing, uh, I, I realized that it required 127 zonite for me to, to create. And uh, I 
I'm not about that. That's not a good use of my resources. Because that's almost all of my... Actually, at this point, I, ha I don't even have that much zonite to my name. I don't think. Where do I even see that? I don't know where I see that. It, presumably, it's hidden in here somewhere. I have 59 zonite left. I use so much. Okay, where are we going? I'm very surprised I haven't seen one of these yet. Oh. This is taking us somewhere. This is new. Keep looking around. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. I'll just levitate. Hmm. Oh, that's a chest. I'm starting to master these controls. Mighty Lo Zonite Longsword, which apparently I, I needed. I didn't have a, a weapon in a slot. That's one thing I kind of wish I'm kind of considering doing next. I am very limited on slots, and it hurts. It hurts so bad, because when I get th these kinds of weapons, I don't want to use those immediately. It's just not intelligent for me to do so. Okay, that's one of them. That's one of the nodes. And part of me wants wants to go to the Korok Forest and see if uh, Hastu's there. But that's that's such a big detour, and there are other things that we could be doing. But it, it's definitely a priority. At some point, I'm going to need to do that. Okay, yeah, I can't climb. It's kind of cool that I can't climb, because then I, I have to jump and platform. That's kind of what I was talking about. I'm... Being able to climb everything is nice, but sometimes I, I think it gives me too much freedom as the player. In that now... We went here, right? This is... Yeah, we went here. Yeah, sometimes I think it gives me too much freedom as the player. Uh, I want to get back in there if possible. Okay, that's fine. Because it's hard for hard for the designers to limit you and make meaningful obstacles for you. Okay, we got that. Because you can climb glass. But that's also one of the reasons why I like Ascend so much more than I like Revali's Gale. Because Ascend makes you have to use your surroundings and plot things out. Revali's Gale kind of just let you cheat the system. It gave you it gave you three charges of I cheat and I ignore terrain design which again while it feels cool it's i'm not i'm not saying it's like bad i definitely see how it limits the designers in a way that ascend enables them uh where am i going get me down and there fight the wind there Really wants to keep me in this maze, which makes sense. Mighty Zonite Shield. That's a first. And, oh, oh guys. Li okay, listen. Listen. I know y'all keep telling me not to fuse shields to shields, but the fact of the matter is that I keep getting shields, and thus I have to keep fusing shields to shields. The game is forcing me to do this. That's very pretty. Does it, what did it, did it say it did? An attached zone of, oh yeah, I have those. I'll have to remember to use that because I always forget. A shock emitter would be kind of neat. Beam emitter, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll deal with that eventually. That's, that is something that I need to do because all too often I just, I don't have any good ideas of what to fuse to a shield. Like, y'all have told me, use elements. It helps. It's basically clothing. It's it's nice for elemental hazards and, like, environments that are cold. You can attach hot things to it. I'm like, yeah, that's... I understand that. That makes sense to me. It's just... Justifying that when I'm getting a ton of shields is kind of weird. And I also currently don't have any elements outside of gems that I would do that on. Although, I wonder what attaching, like, a ruby to my shield would even do. 
That could be kind of neat. Okay, so... I'm gonna go in here. Trying to get to the center. I have been here. Okay. I have not been here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have not been here. Okay. Get my stamina back. I thought it was weird. I was like, I don't remember having been here before. Which is good that I I got close to this thing, because that would have been that would have been bad. Okay, so that's that's done. I'm gonna change this to a person. And stack them really terribly. Now I wanna get down to this this sloop de sloop. What's inside this one? Just a chest. Okay, but we're we're making progress. I'm actually using my map. Mighty Zonai Spear. Again, I needed that. And again, I should start using Zonai devices. Okay, so we're gonna mark this as being complete. Having been completed. Oh, hold hold the phone. That lets me float. That's a little bit quicker. That's sweet, yeah! That's just as good as gliding. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. And I don't take fall damage. Okay, I've been here, I know I've been here. I haven't been to the center of that swirl, so we'll check that out in, in a moment. That moment being right now. Okay, there is nothing in this one. What did I just throw? I've not been to either of these swirls, I don't think. Nope. Okay, this is one of them. It's amazing what can transpire if you just, you know, look at your map. It's kind of insane. That's three of four, I think. It might be four? I don't think it's four. Yeah, it's, it's only three. I've been there. It's so much... I, I get it. I get the impression that I'm uh, I have a little bit less control than when I use my sail clock. Maybe that's actually that's just wrong. That's just wrong. I have a lot more control. Yeah, this is sick. Okay. And I don't take fall damage. Honestly, if if y'all were were screaming at me for uh uh, we'll drop this because it's been used. If y'all were screaming at me for using my sailcloth, I 100% agree with you. I, it, that was deserved. I... I deserved... Every bit of flack that I got from that. Because this is sick. This is a much cooler way of doing this, and this is probably going to be like the thumbnail. It isn't often with this particular maze that I get the opportunity... ...to use Ascend. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna leverage that. And pick and choose where I enter. Do I really take no fall damage? That happened. Um, I tried to dive. Please get back here, and while you do, I'll open this. <laughs> Zonai Sword! I might end up ditching this weapon when it comes back. I might just reverse... Reverse, uh... Recall. It's tempting. I don't need three boomerangs, I don't think. But I do like the boomerangs. But that's worse. I think I would rather have this. Yeah, 31 power. Ain't nothing to scoff at. Okay, this has been explored. Which means we know. We know. Yep, it's right there. Is right there. But how do we get in? Do we have to get in from the top? Or do we get in from the bottom? We get in from the bottom.
there. Send. And there we are. The last node. Which probably only took like five to ten minutes for you guys, but it took uh, a long time for me. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, and this will open the maze in the depths. Sick. Good design, that. Great design. We got our chest, and if we we hadn't, then we definitely would have gotten it here and now. We have our giant battery, and I should probably... Yeah, I should probably remove all these. Also, South Lome Castle top floor. Is this insinuating that this entire thing used to be a castle? That's kind of neat. You who have traversed this maze, mark well my words. I have pulled apart the bars in the labyrinth of the land that obstructed your path below ground. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. The final way shall open to you. <laughs> Here we go. We ascended to the heavens, and now we're gonna go straight to hell. Diving through all these ruins, through the, the maze from Breath of the Wild, and into the depths.